Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sip's Techie Tips. In the previous video, I showed you how to map the S key on your keyboard to create a sustain pedal effect. And that worked pretty good. So I want to do some more keyboard mapping and map some of the other buttons in Ableton Live, like the um, play, stop, and record buttons. And you can use a keyboard or you can use a number pad on your computer. And uh, these portable ones work quite well because you can, they have a cord and you can place it on the left or right hand side of your MIDI. And that really saves time because you don't have to reach for your mouse. But before we do that, I want to thank everybody who's been watching the videos. I really appreciate that, especially subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe. And um, if you want to be notified of each new video, click on the bell. So let's get started. I'm ready to map my little keypad here. And I am going to start by mapping 4, 5, and 6. And I will map those to the on-screen buttons for play, stop, record. And I'm picking those because the number 5 has a little ridge right here and it's very easy to find even if I'm not looking at the pad because I can just slide my fingers down and I can feel that little that little edge right there. Now to map this I go over here to key and you will notice that the colors changed. I'm gonna click on play and I'm going to press the number 4 and you will see there's an N4 right here and over here it says key N4 transport start next I'm going to click on stop I'm going to press the 5 and it picks stop okay then I'm going to do record I'm going to press number 6 and it says global record and that's all there is to it there and then I click over here on key and it is done now it's time to check my work see if they're working like they should I'm gonna be over here on track one which is a grand piano and uh, it is armed for recording and let's check my keys very good now to record, I'm going to press 6. To stop, I'm going to press 5. And I think it's set up so that if I press play, it'll... And very good. To stop it, I just press stop. And so those three mapped just fine. Now I, there are some other things that I can map quite easily while I'm here. And that is these, the track selectors. This is track one, two, and three. And um, you, when you click on them, they come on. When you click on them again, they go off. So they toggle. I'm going to um, map those to one, two, and three. And that will be easy to remember because they're numbered one, two, and three. Again, I go to key. I go to one. I press 1, I go to 2, I press 2, I go to 3, and I press 3. Those are done. While I'm here, I'm also going to program or map my arm buttons. These arm the track for recording. And they get it ready. So I will click on the one for track one. 
since this is track one I'm gonna pick a seven and then since this is track two I'm gonna pick eight and this is track three and I'm gonna pick nine and that'll take care of that and then I am gonna click on key and that turns off the mapping so now if I look if you look right in here I can turn track one off I can track two off I can track three off by just pressing the buttons I can uh, disable this this uh, arm record turn it off I can turn on two I can turn on three and these are what they call radio buttons only one can be down at a time <laughs> so if if three is on and I press seven it turns it off but the other ones go turns them off <clears throat> now I think that's all I'm gonna do for now maybe you, you can have some better ideas what to do with the other buttons what and you can leave that in the uh, comments if you have suggestions for uh, uh, good uses for the other available buttons uh, one warning is this one here the zero zero will not work for mapping because it's programmed into the pad to press this zero twice so it thinks it's the same key thank you so much for watching the video I hope you found the information useful if you did you can give me a thumbs up and if not you can give me a thumbs down that's all right if you want to see more videos or be notified of new videos uh, become a subscriber click on subscribe if you want to be notified of each new video remember to click on the bell and until next time take care